You're afraid that the masses are rising today. The masses, white, brown, red, yellow, and black, are to be told the truth. And when the masses are told the truth, they will be free from the web of lies of the 10% who have made slaves of the poor and who are the bloodsuckers of the poor. And the number one bloodsucker of the poor today is the United States government of America. And today, I must stand up and teach the whole country of the wickedness of this government that you may know the truth and be free and make a better government and a better order and a better world. Otherwise, the whole of America is going down to death and destruction for your kingdom has been weighed in the balance and it is found wanting. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said to us that 85% of the people of the earth are uncivilized people, meaning they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, culture, refinement, and the pursuit of happiness. They are in a savage state, having not the knowledge of self and living the life of a beast. This is to teach us that 85% of the human family of the planet Earth are living a life that is lower than the expected level of life of the divine supreme being. And because this is so, then the prophet's work of reform and redemption and salvation is almost nil in the world. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. If we follow Jesus, then there cannot be any darkness in our being. However, darkness pervades the Christian world. What happened to the light of the world? The Christian world is bathed in uncivilized or savage behavior. So is the Muslim world. So is the Jewish world. So is the Buddhist and Hindu world. The whole world of man is suffering now because 85% of the people are uncivilized. They are poison animal eaters. The poison animal here refers to the swine, which is called in Arabic khanzir, which means I see it foul and very foul. The pig is a foul animal. When you eat the pig, its own flesh becomes a part of your flesh, and the worms of that filthy animal become a part of your being, eating its way into the muscles and into the spinal cord, traveling up the spinal cord into the brain, sounding the mental power, and even robbing the people of their beauty appearance. So when a person is uncivilized, they don't know the proper foods to eat, and therefore they dine on a delicacy of the Western world in its rebellion against Almighty God, the pig. Anyone calls you a pig, they are calling you a dirty name, and you would smack their face, but you will turn around and eat the pig, and if they say that man is what he eats, then maybe they're not so far wrong. <laughs> a poison animal eater is a slave from mental death and power. Most of the 85%, whether they are white or black, red, yellow, or brown, are people who are slaves from mental death and power. Not only have they been eating a poison animal, but they eat mentally poison doctrine. They are people who do not know the true God or their origin in the world. And they worship that which they know not. And they are easily led in the wrong direction, but also hard to be led in the right direction. This is the masses of the people, white or black, red, yellow or brown. The masses of the people of earth have suffered and are suffering mental death and 
a death of powerlessness. So if this is so, then the work of the prophets is undone. Why? Because those who were entrusted with the work have not been successful in civilizing the people, in raising the people up, in making the people aware of their mental life and giving the people that which would give them power over their own lives and their own destiny. So then, Jesus is correct. If you, the, the, the vineyard has been let out into the hands of wicked husbandmen, and these husbandmen have not brought in the fruits thereof, then the vineyard should be taken from them and given to another. This is all we're saying to the Jews and to the world. Yes, you have had control of the vineyard, and you have not brought in the fruit thereof. Fruit thereof means that you would use the wisdom taught to you by Moses and the prophets to civilize the people and give them a life that makes them masters of their own destiny. However, instead of your bringing in the fruits thereof, you have eaten the fruits thereof and given the people a false religious doctrine. Consequently, the people are now enslaved by false religious concepts. This is in Islam, this is in Christianity, this is among the Jews. The masses of the world are suffering, groaning under wicked religious leadership, wicked political leadership. The 85%. This doesn't deal with color. You are black, but you are a mental slave. You are mentally dead and powerless. And there are many whites who are in this condition, Indians in this condition, red people, brown people, yellow people in this condition. And a handful of people are ruling and dominating the whole planet. And the wealth of the planet is not in the hands of the masses of the people, but in the hands of a few people whom we call the blood suckers of the poor. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this 10%? They are the rich, the DuPonts, the Fords, the Armand Hammers, the rich who are the blood suckers of the poor, who teach the poor lies who teach the poor to believe that the true and living God is a spook who cannot be seen by the naked eye. And they make themselves rich from the labor of the poor. They are also known as the slave makers of the poor. Daniel in his vision talked about a head of gold and a breast of silver and the feet of iron mixed with miry clay. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to us that whenever you have an image like that, it is telling you that the head, the nations of the earth, the rulers are rich with gold, but their support is weak, for their support is iron mixed with miry clay. The support of all of the Western nations is the poor. Right. It is the poor that support America. Yes, it is the poor that support England and France. Yes. It is the poor that support Russia yes. and China and all of the nations of the earth. But how are the poor treated? The poor are the made into slaves by those who teach lies. Yes, they don't teach the law of cause and effect. They make the people believe when they see it rain that a spook is producing it. But the rain is real. How then can the cause be unreal? You are witnessing conditions in the world that are produced by real men, but you don't see the real cause of the effect of your own suffering. Because the blood suckers of the poor make you think that God is some mystery God. Well. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to us that there is 5% who are the poor righteous teachers 
who don't believe the teaching of lies of the 10%, but this 5% are all wise and know who the true and living God is, and they teach that the true and living God is the Son of Man, the supreme being, the black man of Asia. They are also known as civilized people, Muslims and Muslim sons. Here is a small percentage of people who know God. And when they know God, they have a duty. And that duty is to teach what you know to those who do not know. Then those of us, those of us who are in pursuit of that duty have 10% the rich, the blood suckers of the poor, the slave makers of the poor, they hate the 5%. They have control over 85%. So they turn the 85% against the righteous teacher. This is how they've been able to kill the prophets, kill their communities, because the, the leaders who are the blood suckers of the poor have control over the minds of the masses and they feed the masses more lies about a righteous teacher so that the righteous teacher will be persecuted by the 10%, not helped by the 85%, so that they can kill the righteous teacher. But a new thing is happening today. A new thing is happening today. When I was in Washington, D.C., out in front of me were the 85%. I had none of the 10% sitting behind me on the rostrum. I'm too hot for them to come out and sit with me. So the leaders were listening from their comfortable positions. What did Farrakhan say tonight? What are you afraid of? You're afraid that the masses are rising today. The masses, white, brown, red, yellow, and black, are to be told the truth. And when the masses are told the truth, they will be free from the web of lies of the 10% who have made slaves of the poor and who are the blood suckers of the poor. And the number one blood sucker of the poor today is the United States government of America. And today, I must stand up and teach the whole country of the wickedness of this government that you may know the truth and be free and make a better government and a better order and a better world. Otherwise, the whole of America is going down to death and destruction for your kingdom has been weighed in the balance and it is found wanting.